Do you feel tired every day? Do you have memory problems, unexplained weight gain, body tremors, or hair loss? Or these problems are the opposite for you? Do you sweat a lot, and are you nervous? If you have these symptoms, this video is for you because your thyroid gland may be to blame for all these symptoms. Stay tuned with us cause in this video on PARS Health TV channel, we are going to be sharing how to cure thyroid problem permanently in 4 steps. What is the thyroid gland? The thyroid is a butterfly-shaped gland placed in front of the neck. The hormone in this gland regulates the speed of metabolism. Thyroid diseases decrease or increase the rate of metabolism. You will see the signs of this disorder on the scale when hormone levels are too low or too high. The thyroid gland may be small but lists the most vital tasks, including regulating appetite, controlling energy levels, and even body temperature. When this gland is affected by some problems, it shows different symptoms that cannot be ignored. Hypothyroidism usually leads to weight gain, depression, joint pain, sensitivity to heat and cold, high cholesterol, sore throat, vision problems, and dry skin. On the other hand, hyperthyroidism causes anger, weight loss, mood swings, and increased heart rate. Here are some things you can do to cure your thyroid problems. Number 4. Mediterranean Diet. One of the most important factors that can help maintain a healthy thyroid is a balanced diet. DRS explained that 70% of the body's immune system is in the gut, scientifically known as GALT, or gut-associated lymphoid tissue. When the intestinal mucosa becomes swollen and inflamed, it can actually be the beginning of an immune response. Studies have shown that this plays a role in thyroid disease. DRS recommend a Mediterranean diet to help prevent and control inflammation. To do this, it has been suggested to eat 4 or 5 servings of veggies, and 3 to 4 servings of fruit a day, along with plenty of low-fat protein and fatty fish such as salmon, herring, gypsy, and mackerel. Other healthy and rich oils such as pure olive oil, organic canola oil, sunflower oil, safflower oil, coconut oil, nuts, butter, and avocado are also recommended. Number 3. Be careful about some foods. No wonder here, DRS say you should clearly avoid processed foods that contain sugar and preservatives, food colors, fats, and sugar-free alternatives. Processed foods containing trans fats, high fructose corn syrup, monosodium glutamate, a common additive to enhance the flavor of food, and refined sugar can cause intestinal inflammation and a sudden flare-up of autoimmunity. These injuries are not limited to the thyroid. The autoimmune system can also affect different body parts. Use cruciferous vegetables such as cauliflower, kale, cabbage, watercress, buckwheat, from Chinese vegetables, and Brussels sprouts alternatively, that are rich in nutrients for the body such as vitamin C and folate, folic acid, also known as folate or vitamin B9. Keep in mind excessive consumption can interfere with thyroid function. It has been said by DRS that raw cruciferous vegetables contain a natural chemical called goitrogens, which can interfere with thyroid hormone synthesis. But cabbage fans should not panic. The goiter-forming substance in these vegetables is inactivated by cooking or even slightly steaming. So you can still use them for their antioxidant value and anti-cancer effects. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to our channel and press the notification bell. Now, let's dive right into the number 2 on our list. Number 2. Take supplements. Take supplements as well, but consult your doctor first. You have probably heard that there is a link between thyroid health and iodine, which is essential for synthesizing thyroid hormones. According to many health practitioners, worldwide iodine deficiency is one of the causes of thyroid enlargement and hypothyroidism. However, iodine deficiency is lower in developed countries due to the combination of salt and certain foods such as dairy and bread. In other words, you are probably getting enough iodine in your diet right now. In fact, High iodine can cause hyperthyroidism in susceptible individuals, so do not take iodine supplements without consulting your doctor. On the other hand, if you think your thyroid needs to be enlarged, talk to your doctor about taking selenium or vitamin D, both of which improve the thyroid. 
Clinical research shows that a daily intake of 200 micrograms of mineral selenium can reduce antithyroid antibodies. You can also get this mineral by eating one or two types of Brazil nuts daily. Similarly, it is true for vitamin D. Some research shows that it plays an important role in regulating the immune system. Severe vitamin D deficiency can lead to autoimmune diseases, so ask your doctor to check your vitamin D levels. Check and advise you on taking supplements if they are lower than normal. DRS also recommend using probiotics, which are a complete source of healthy bacteria. Probiotics can help balance the immune system, increase bowel activity, and improve intestinal permeability. You can also eat natural resources such as yogurt or kefir. The human intestinal flora contains different types of bacteria. Many of these bacteria are beneficial for the optimal digestion of food. In addition to aiding digestion, a group of these bacteria, known as probiotic bacteria, produce complex molecules and compounds such as vitamins and various antibiotics that are beneficial to the body. Dairy products and fruits are the sources of probiotic bacteria. Number 1. Stay away from toxins. According to the National Institute of Environmental Health Sciences, long-term exposure to endocrine disruptors, chemicals that enter the endocrine system, can lead to endocrine problems in individuals. Some things to be aware of include perfluorinated chemicals, or PFCs, fluoride-containing chemicals with unique properties and adhesion resistance, on some carpets, fireproof and waterproof clothing, and nonstick cookware, all of which are related to thyroid disease. Similarly, a 2019 study found that exposure to phthalates, found in aromatic products and soft plastics, and bisphenol A, found in canned or plastic-wrapped foods, can lead to a disorder in the level of thyroid hormones. It has also been recommended to avoid antibacterial soaps containing triclosan, an element that, according to the Food and Drug Administration, alters hormonal regulation in animal studies, studies in humans are still ongoing. Staying away completely from these substances will be impossible. Still, you should reduce their use as much as possible, especially if you are pregnant or have a baby at home. Growing fetuses, infants, and children are exposed to the effects of these environmental chemicals. Applying some general guidelines can have long-term consequences. Only use soap and water, regularly, for hand washing. Also, if you want a pleasing aroma, use oil. There are plenty of ways to naturally treat thyroid problems, like removing all potential food allergens from your diet. Then slowly add them back in one by one to identify if you have an allergy triggering thyroid problems. Taking curcumin supplements can do wonders for your thyroid. Or you can reduce daily stress and get enough sleep. What do you do to cure your thyroid problems? Feel free to share your ideas and experiences with us in the comment section below. If you enjoy the video, please share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.